What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to WWE 2K18 My Career Mode with your boy, Mr. Money in the Bank, Joey Garner. If you missed the last episode, I kind of already spoiled it. We are Mr. Money in the Bank and we are here in July 2019, the first week. And we are going to go see what Todd has in store for the newest rookie, Mr. Money in the Bank. What's going on Todd? What do you got for me today, bud? Uh, huge night for you, Team SmackDown. Partly, right? <laughs> How's that? Anyway, AJ will be here shortly. Uh, this better go. Th this is better if I go out by myself. Ah, so you got a notion to change things up? Well, this is your night after all. The ring is yours. Win this promo, score 100 on the promo. Let's get to it right now. And there he is, Joey Garner, coming out to the ring. He's obviously got something to say as Mr. Money in the Bank. Ah, the champion is a coward hiding behind me. The champion is a coward. Someone had to say it. He was hiding behind me the entire time, having me clean up his problems and sterilize the environment so he'd have less competition. Pathetic. If you're a champ, act like a champ, not a chump. Defend your own title. Don't hire a lapdog for proxy pictures. And I believe, yep, here comes the champion, AJ Styles. What does he have to say? Uh, if you do this, if you really go through with this and don't give me that briefcase, there's going to be hell to pay. If not now, then later when it happens, it's going to blindside you and hit you so hard that you'll wonder if you'll ever stop flying from the impact. If I had any say in it, I'd make sure you never come down. AJ coming in with strong words right there. Um, I've decided I'm better than you. Uh, but, but keep my title. Uh, I don't take any orders from anyone. Uh, let's get one thing straight right away. I do not take orders from anyone. I cannot be bought. I cannot be manipulated. All of these things are basically what you tried to do. So when it comes down to you asking me to relinquish my hard-earned victory, that's a big glaring no spelled in atomic neon flashing lights. What do you got to say to that, AJ? What do you got to say? I feel sorry for you. You don't you don't understand how badly you misjudged the, the uh, wisdom of this victory. You broke your word. So what if you got away with it and screwed me? Now everyone will look at look at badly at you. No one will trust the word that you say, so what happens afterwards when you legitimately need help? Um, let's see. You aren't someone worth following. That's that's what I have to say to that. Uh, some people are worth following straight into the gates of hell, but that ain't, ain't you. I used to respect you, respect you, and when we started working together, I did. But the more that I thought about it, the more I thought that I didn't want to follow you. The fact is what ha has brought us here tonight. I will not serve. So, J Joey Gardner showing that he's not going to relinquish any title or any briefcase just because AJ says so. The WWE Universe is built on trust. We know Vince has an eye on keeping this place in pit perfect pitch. Triple H has this organization running like a well-oiled machine. We know that fans are going to fill the arena with the amazing energy, but now we viola you violated our trust in you. You are a traitor. I'm the traitor, AJ. Really? I'm the traitor? Um, let's see. The match was mine by right. How about that? Uh, cold hard truth coming from my mouth that everyone here already knows. That match, beyond anything you might think, was mine by rights. I fought for it and I earned it. Can you say the same? Oh, you had me running some errands for you, but we both know that's not comparable. Just a tool that got away, huh? What about it? AJ, what are you going to say to that? Do you have any friends? I mean that. I really do. Do you have any friends here outside of the WWE? They're, they must have the loyalty of a god because I can't understand how anyone would have affection for you after showing your true colors. No, I can't uh, see you having anyone in your sad, lonely, lying little life. Woo, AJ coming in with the little personal attacks. Uh... I don't I shouldn't have used I shouldn't have had to use you um, Ultimately, I shouldn't have had to use you or anyone my presence in money in the bank uh, Should have been the foregone conclusion to everyone else as it was to me I'm so annoyed by this theme of proving myself and then being ignored. How loud do I have to be to get noticed? Well notice me now And uh, I'm not sorry for any of this. I'm easily worth two of you this time uh, I'll think I'm not sorry for any of this uh, look, I'm not sorry for anything that I've done before or now. I'm not sorry you had this coming. Everyone else did too. I saw this briefcase in reach. Would a, would a better man let it slip through his fingers? I don't know about that. But a stupid man, a passionless man surely would. And guess who that isn't? It's surely Joey Garner. We got the points that we needed. Let's get back to the backstage area right now. Hey, Todd. 
What's that look for, Todd? Uh, that was a sight to see. Enjoy the festivities? Uh, phew, son, you may be money in the bank, but you've made some powerful enemies tonight. You're sure about it? You're sure hell, you're sure, hell is sure about it. That's not even a word. What, that's not even a sentence. Anyway, uh, he was always a tool to use. At the end of the day, I always thought of him as a useful tool. That's it, and that's all. Could be a reckoning. You stop viewing people as people, it, it as rungs up your ambition's ladder. Um, all things are connected, my friend. Screwing over one person isn't something that happens in a vacuum. Uh, they have connections, so yeah, we'll see what happens. And if anything, were I you, uh, I'd brace myself for in any event, just in case. You understand? Uh, we'll see ya. Alright, so that should do it for this week, right? Uh, yep, exit the arena by talking to the parking lot attendant. Let's get to the following week, right now. And we are here for the second week of July 2019. And we are in our second week as Mr. Money in the Bank. And hey, Renee. Hey, Renee. Let's have an interview with Renee, shall we? Uh, do you have any game plan for tonight's match? Uh, it's all about sneaky mind games. It's all about endurance. Yeah, we'll pass. Yeah, to win. Uh, yeah, to win. <laughs> My game plan is to win. What kind of question is that? No, I don't plan out move for move. I plan on silencing the WWE Universe and my opponent by winning. That's enough strategy for you. Finally, you get the match you've been waiting for tonight. What's going through your head? Uh, uh, bah, bah. time to back up my words. I'm so close I can actually taste it. I can smell it. I'm ready. More ready than I've ever been. And I cannot wait to see him in that ring. I told him when it happened, I'd whip his ass. Now, it's time to back it up. Ty All right, there you have it. Back to you guys. All right, let's go see what Todd has for us today. I'm assuming we're going to have a uh, pretty big match. Hey, Todd. What's going on? Uh, hopefully, you're not too banged up. Uh, we've got a big night of matches tonight. All right, so let's go see what the whiteboard has for us. What do we got today? We are facing Noam Dar. Huh. That's not really, uh, not really the match I was expecting to have. But look at all these matches. Damn. This match is, this card is packed. I mean, granted, it's not like it's the greatest, you know, but whatever. Anyway, let's get to our matchup against Noam Dar right now. All right, for the first time ever, we've got a matchup. Noam Dar taking on Joey Gardner, and that matchup starts right now as Joey Gardner comes in with the heel kick, and he's not wasting any time. I thought we were going to have a match against AJ or maybe one of his, you know, friends, you know, that might have been in the storyline, but no, we're facing Noam Dar, which is fine, which is totally fine, but, you know, kind of underwhelming, not really what I was expecting. Anyway, I plan on kicking the crap out of him. As we are going for a nice snap suplex right here. There we go. And down is Noam Dar. Okay, Noam. There you go. And how about a senton for you? Woo! And look at that. Garner's already celebrating, already taunting a little bit. Probably not celebrating, you know, taunting. Duh. And how about a nice jab? How about an elbow? And follow that up with a body slam. New Gar uh, Garner reversed by Dar. As Dar going for a, I, I don't know the move, the name of that move, but you know it's a good move. It's a good move. And Gardner rolls out of the ring, gets back in the ring, making Noam Dar chase him, but Noam Dar with a reversal right there. Wow. But the thing is, we're not gonna allow that to happen for long. Bam! Hit him in the back of the head. And how about a swinging DDT for you? Woo! All right. Gardner is taunting once again. Probably taunting a little too much. I wouldn't, you know, be celebrating all that much because Noam Dar's shown that he can get back into a matchup pretty quickly. Let's jab him right there. And, ooh, taking him down with that elbow. Stay down. I tell you when to get up, Dar. I tell you when to get up. Like, right now. I tell you to get up now. How about an arm drag again? It looks like I'm going to break his arm when I'm doing that. It doesn't look comfortable at all. I mean, I know it's not supposed to look comfortable, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look good. As Garner's going to the top rope. What's he got planned from up here? And he's going for a drop kick, but Dar able to, to push him out of the way. And Garner being dragged away from the ropes. Is Noam Dar going for a cover? No, he's going for a... He's working on that shoulder right now. Oh, he might... Oh, my goodness. Working on that shoulder indeed. Wow, that had hurt. Okay, that's not going to happen, Dar. Bam! How about a jab? Bam, there we go. And... How about... Woo! There we go. Up and over goes Dar. Come here, Noam. We gotta go to the center of the ring. Because I don't want you near the ropes. 
I don't like it when you're near, near the ropes. I don't like when anybody's near the ropes. How about in Alabama, Bama, 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 Bama? Slam. Oh, hanging him on the middle rope neck first. That had, did you like that, Noam Dar? I don't I don't think so. His name is fun to say, Noam Dar. Alicia Fox. Anyway, Gardner is looking for the kill switch, but Dar reversing it. No. Don't you freaking try to come after me. Dar had a little opening, but Gardner not allowing that to stay there for long. And the opening did not, did not stay open for long, that's for sure. That is for sure, as Gardner is just toying with Noam right now. Just kicking him in the chest, but uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh, no, 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 he's working. He's got a submission. No, he's got a submission. Come on, get out of it, Gardner. Get out of it, get out of it, get out of it. No, no, I'm not allowed. I'm not tapping out right now. I'm not tapping out. Let's go. There we go. Bam, kick him off. Kick his ass off. Ow, my knee. My leg, it hurts. You know, he's like the, the SpongeBob guy right now. My leg. My leg. Oh, no, 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 no. A neck breaker. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, Amdar is looking for it. Uh-oh. He's looking for his finisher. Oh, but Garner able to reverse it. Garner is looking to end it. How about another Alabama, Bama, 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 Bama slam? Woohoo! Once again, hanging him on the top or the middle rope right there. Neck first. Oh, Garner. Let's finish No Amdar off. We don't allow. We don't allow 205 live members to beat us. Boom. How about BAM! There we go. I still don't have a name for that finisher, but it's been effective and we plan on using it. Go for the cover. Ah, uh, Noam Dar, is it enough to put him away? One, two, and three. We have done it. Joey Garner getting the victory. Oh, almost one-sided, but Noam Dar had a little, you know, fought back for a little bit there. Wasn't for long, but you know what? It is what it is. That, that, that move right there, that, 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 that didn't look too good. But then we had another Alabama-Bama slam. Woohoo! Right off the middle rope. And then... Planting him face first to finish off the matchup. And Gardner was able to come away as the victor in this matchup. Let's get back to the backstage area and see how Todd... Alright, Todd looks pretty happy. Uh, not the best performance, but not your worst either. Just keep on improving out there. Okay, thanks Todd. Thanks for your very, very excited face. Then get very, like, you know, meh with me. Meh! Bleh. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. It's been a crazy couple weeks for, for Gardner. What's up, Xavier? What's up, Charlotte? Woo! Um, let's go see. Anybody? All right, we're going to be the authority for right now. Oh, we can't go, in the, we can't go behind the, the desk. All right, well, we're going to be in front of the desk. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure you smash the like button, comment, share, and subscribe so you do not miss another Joey Gardner episode whenever they are posted. What goes up? Ah, I can't speak. What goes on from here, guys? There's a lot of stuff that could happen. AJ Styles is going to be looking for some revenge very soon. And that should be something to look forward to. But, um, yeah. <laughs> like I said, have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this. And I will talk to you all later. Peace.